Welcome to Unlock Layouts. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss what is the use of P substrate 2 layer and then how to use the P substrate 2 layer in the TSMC foundry. Let's start the video. In this video lecture we are going to discuss what is meant by P substrate 2 layer and what is the use of the P substrate 2 layer in the uh, real layout. So first of all we know uh, the substrate layer where we are going to connect our substrate connection that is nothing but our body connection. In envelope uh, fabrication process the P substrate layer is the global substrate for the entire uh, CMOS chip. So you can connect only one power supply in the final chip top level because since it is a global substrate you cannot um, connect with the two different ground or two different VSS okay that is really not possible but anyhow finally the chip is going to connect to a, a single power supply either positive or negative power supply but inside the chip there will be multiple blocks multiple blocks will be handled multiple VDD same way multiple blocks will handle multiple VSS that is nothing but our ground connection. So in the sub block level what is the need for this P substrate 2 layer okay first of all why we need to use this P substrate 2 layer in case just imagine we have a condition top level all the grounds are going to be connected to us to the single ground okay that is our VSS but in the sub block level we are created two different cell like VSS 1 and VSS 2 okay these two cells are going to sit inside the layout in the same block even inside the same cell level so in that case if you wanted to do physical isolation for these uh, substrates, you need to go for deep envelope layer okay because deep envelope will isolate your global substrate from the local substrate but whereas we know that finally the chip all the VSS is going to connect to the top level in a common power supply okay that is our common ground so deep envelope if you insert inside the layer it will cast for the chip first of all then second it will accumulate lot of area okay it will consume lot of area actually so in order to avoid area and in order to cut down the cost in the deep envelope fabrication we can go for B, this p substrate 2 layer insertion okay first of all what is meant by p substrate 2 layer okay p substrate 2 layer is just a dummy layer okay it, it it is not like a physical layer it is not going to create any physical isolation between your two different ground supply okay just to clear your lvs okay so this dummy layer we need to add in the substrate to isolate the substrate connection in the sub block level that means our cell level then something called soft check error okay so what is mean by soft check error whatever the connection mistakes is coming from the substrate from from any kind any type of substrate okay vss or vdd if you are seeing any errors in the substrate connection so, suppose wrong uh, power is connected to the substrate or two different ground connection is there in the same substrate then you will see something called soft check okay in order to wave off this soft check with respect to the two different ground connection we can go for this p substrate to dummy layer addition okay and you need to understand the important thing here p substrate 2 layer is not a physical layer okay it's not acting as a deep envelope okay because deep envelope will physically isolate your one ground to another ground okay that is nothing but our global ground to this local ground we can isolate physically okay but this p substrate 2 layer is just isolating virtually just to wave off the soft check error so if you add any p substrate 2 layer then we have to inform to the designer and we need to inform to the foundry as well because then they will come to know that because of some reason we added this p substrate 2 layer that is really mandatory okay and then Sometimes we don't recommend it to use this P substrate layer in the full chip level. P substrate layer is recommended to add only in the sub block level that is in the cell level. A small sub level blocks or small small level blocks we can you know create this P substrate 2 layer. Okay we should it is not recommended to use as the entire chip. Okay anyway in the entire chip we don't use but it's a general guidance for them. So then uh, so this is the block diagram 
um, which is related to p substrate 2 layer see for example now here in the example one okay this is my image example one here we have a some yellow color layer consider that is our p substrate 2 layer we have a device a we have a device b okay both devices are connected to the same substrate that is our p substrate in case we have a device a and device b device b is connected to different ground okay now here the ground terminal we will call it as a p substrate 2 layer okay so that is that is a different ground if not we can simply consider p substrate is connected to vss this b device p substrate is connected to vss1 now if you are doing the block level connection if you want to isolate this a block to this b block we have to add deep and well insertion that is mandatory to physically isolate but in our case only in the sub block level these grounds are different but when you are working in the top level when you come to the top level in the top level these two grounds are going to connect to the single ground okay so we know that only in the sub block level these grounds are separated but in the top level anyhow these two grounds are going to connect to the single ground connection but in the sub, sub block level if you are using two different substrate connection you will be end up with a soft check error so in order to avoid soft check error you need to add one p substrate 2 layer here okay we will see in the layout like how we need to add the p substrate 2 layer from which layer to which layer we have to add p substrate 2 layer everything we will see one by one but just it's a general diagram okay so see here in the diagram 3 connection a and connection b both are located in the same substrate so you will not get any soft check error okay in case if a and b is connected to the two different ground if you are not isolating the global substrate then you will end up with a soft check error if you want to avoid that soft check error just virtually it is not physically then you need to add this p substrate 2 layer so the tool will consider that wherever you have a p substrate layer that is just like a you know masking layer it's like a virtual implantation layer so that will ignore that od okay that will ignore that power supply for a temporary to just clear the soft check connect okay let us see in the tool how to add this p substrate 2 layer in the real layout okay let's be look into this figure in this figure we have a two different mosfet okay this is n channel mosfet 1 and this is n channel mosfet 2 okay m0 and m1 uh, the device here we have a different source okay the door the source is a common connection and then drain is a common connection and the gate is also a common connection but the substrate connection is here the first mosfet is connected to ground and the second mosfet is connected to ground one okay so we have a two different ground connection here if you want to physically isolate these two different ground connection we need to go for deep and well insertion that already we have discussed but as of now what we are going to do we are not going to add any deep and well layer in this project okay here in this cell just we are going to avoid or just we are going to wave off the soft check error that's all we are not going to physically we are not going to create any isolation between the block to block yeah, now okay. both the gate connections are common now what we are going to do we are going to complete the connection both the gate connections are common so just connect these two both the source connections are also common okay so we need one line for source okay a straight line for source and then there is a straight line we need for a drain connection okay so both the metals i will make a property of m2 yeah both of the metal are shifted to m2 then again uh, maybe the width of the metal i can keep it 0 0.4 micrometer yeah exactly so now i'll keep one connection here and i'll keep my another connection here yes done so now <clears throat> all the sources are common that we know already so go for auto via okay fix the wires here okay fill the wire in this particular place because here the sources are common okay so just connect all these wire all the sources are common all the drains are also common so connect these two drains yeah that's all so now source and drain connections is completed then again finally we need to create a tap connection go for create and generate okay and then uh, what you say like go to create go to multipath this is the nmos for device we need to add p substrate guard ring so i have selected the p substrate guard ring and i am creating a tab cell for this individually okay this tab cell is individual this tab cell is individual okay just rearrange the tab cells in order to avoid the drc cs now the block is separated okay one device substrate now it is going to connect to ground so i can mark it as a gnd another device ground it is going to connect as a gnd two layer okay sorry it's a it's a gnd one layer okay it's a gnd one layer so since both are 
n MOSFET devices, the substrate is P substrate. In general, P substrate is a global substrate. We can connect only one power supply in the P substrate, but here in our case, we have two different power supply. So what we are going to do, we are going to run a caliber LVS. Let's see run LVS. See, if I created these two devices in the P substrate with a two different ground connection, I am end up with soft check error. Because of the reason this soft check error, I am not using single P substrate. See, P substrate is shorting. Okay, so both the P substrates are creating short circuit here. Okay, so in order to avoid this soft check error virtually, anyway, this is not the physical uh, isolation, just a virtual isolation. Okay, so here, see, already we have already placed so many devices. But see here, just because of those soft check error, we are seeing lot of unwanted errors. Actually, these errors are not actual errors. Okay, just because of your soft check error, the tool is confusing and the tool is giving all these connections as a short. So these are all not as a genuine LVS. Okay, these are all fake LVS. Maybe pin connection is correct because I didn't add any pin connection here. Okay, pin connection is correct, but coming to the layout point. Okay, see incorrect net, everything, these all the errors are fake DRCs. Okay, this all the errors are fake LVS. So in order to avoid this, what we can do, we can create a P substrate 2 layer for this device. Okay, how to add P substrate 2 layer? Okay, it's simple. I'll cross check it. Yeah, this is a G and D. Fine. Simple layer. Okay, here just remove use layer. Type PSUB2. Then you will see the P substrate 2 layer. Okay, take this P substrate 2 layer and just try to draw your P substrate 2 layer from where your active PP layer is there. Okay, that should be covered with this OD. Okay, your OD should be covered. So what you can do, you can add your P substrate 2 layer like this. Okay, now inside your P substrate layer, your one device is there that is GND2. Outside of your P substrate layer, another ground is there. So now just save the device and check again LVS. Okay, so now see here there is no soft check error. Okay, since we added the P substrate 2 layer, now here no soft check errors we are seeing. And then going to the comparison results, see comparison, all the instance errors are cleared. See previously we saw so many uh, fake LVS problems are there. Any of this incorrect nets are there. These all are incorrect nets are pin problems only. If I started placing the pin connection here, okay, because here whatever incorrect net we are seeing here, right, everything is a related to port connection. Okay, if I add the port here, because we have all the ports are missing. If I add the port connection here, then I will not see any of these errors. In this way, we can clear the uh, soft check error. It is just a waving off. It is not clearing your soft check error exactly. Okay, we are just waving off the, we are just, you know, giving the, uh, you know, like we are mimicking the tool that uh, there is no different ground connection. That's all. It is just a waiver file. Okay, instead of adding the waiver file uh, separately, if you add P substrate two layer, okay, virtually it will isolate two different substrate. Okay, same case, if you have it for P MOSFET, you don't need any other layer because P MOSFET will have this own local substrate that is our NWELL even though if you have a two different VSS sorry if even though if you have a two different VDD connection let it be any VDD connection n number of VDD connection you don't need any type of isolation because our NWELL is a local substrate whereas coming to our NMOSFET P substrate is the global substrate okay global substrate can connect to only one power but in case if you have a two different power physically if you want to isolate you can go for deep NWELL insertion but if you don't want to do that physically, in the top level, all the grounds are going to connect to the single ground. So in order to don't waste to area, and then we know that the connections are going to connect in the top level with the same ground. So we don't want to waste area as well, and we don't want to go for deep and well insertion as well. Simply by adding the P substrate 2 layer, you can clear your LVS soft check errors. So this is the uh, real time usage of the P substrate 2 layer. I hope I have given some valuable information to you in this video. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click like button and share this video to your friends. For more details about this video, please contact us to my email ID and follow us on my Facebook page and Twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button.